Where are we going, Rick? Going outside. Two. Hopefully it started snowing yet. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> I sure hope it's gonna start. Close this door. All right, guys, we are back. We're still up here at Southside Sales and Service. This is uh, XC9R Part 3. Uh, this is Fire Up. So we're all buttoned up. Uh, if you watched the previous one, we literally just finished it, and now we're rolling it outside. We have uh, Rick here, our Gold Star mechanic. And <laughs> we're going to see if it fires. Oh, yeah, you're not, you forgot to put the battery in. I thought it was a little bit too roomy in there. Oh. Huh. Guess we're gonna have to pull it. Old school. <laughs> I hope that knot's real good. <laughs> uh, I gotta burn that knot after. She is alive. Bring her back inside, check her over, retorque a couple things. Actually, I don't even know if we're gonna bring it back inside. He's probably just, nope. <laughs> she sounded sporty. Coolers are cooling. How'd she feel there, Rick? Uh, definitely a little, uh, little sluggish right now. Yeah. She's choking on a lot of oil, so. Sure, once we get it through through break in it'll really wake up so guys just a friendly reminder if you do pull your primary off after you run it for a little bit retorque it because as you just saw he probably got what an eighth to a quarter of a turn yeah, usually you'll get yeah you know, what i just got up to a half a turn additional mm -hmm. out of it. coolers are cooling People are going to have a heart attack that you just ran it that hard on the stand. <laughs> they probably will. <laughs> I don't know. It's so, how I've always run everything. It's how we do it here. 
run it like you're going to run it. Yep. Break it in the way you're going to run it. That's so what I've always done, and I've never had one issue. We're going to burn that before I pull on this again. Huh? We're going to burn that now before I pull on this again. <laughs> I don't feel like going fishing for that. No, that's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Take one call. I don't want to on this side either. Sounds good with that um, pipe with the tin off too. Yeah, it definitely sounds different than yeah, a nice, than a just, full just that tone and mm -hmm. internal pipe tone. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. Just add snow. You happy with your clutching? Oh, I don't know yet. From what you saw last year, we changed it like fifteen times. Where oh, you're I'm, happy? I'm, well, obviously, I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> what you have? I did. How long has that taken you? <laughs> Quite a long time. <laughs> well, yeah, success. I put, in, I put in, well, the front is what I had in last year. Mm -hmm. The rear, I didn't do that um, because I have some of that stuff home. So I was, I'll take it. So is that just one. a stock secondary? Stock secondary, yeah. So it's not enough spring of what I would want back mm -hmm. there right now. Seems a little rigid in the bars. A little rigid? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, listen, we're testing these. <laughs> Yeah, very simple. One part. Mm -hmm. Budget-friendly. <laughs> Budget-friendly front end. Yeah. yeah. If the snow is soft, they're going to work great. Yeah. 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 This is, uh, we heard this is what the new snow Snowcross guys are running. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty darn close to the <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good. Happy, Bruce. A little secondary clutch change, see what it does.
Happier with that? Yeah, uh, feel, it does feel better. Just a little, little, little change from the wizard here. <laughs> and rain. And we're back in our normal spot and out of Rick's hair for at least the time being. But we have Bruce here and I don't know. What do you think? I like it. I'm just, I've been excited since we started this project. And now, and then having the Indy specialty motor you know, something, another step just to see how, you know, how that is with that long rod crank. And I'm, you know, I am, I'm just super excited mm -hmm. to, to get on it. Sounds, yeah. sounds really good. Just got to do a couple other things. Got the front shocks on the bench, get those ready, put the 125s on it. Um, we pulled the electric start out, save a little weight. Yeah, we, I was, I talked about that. I think in the disassemble video, I said, we're turning into a real race sled here and cutting some weight yeah but like i told you guys which i might do it tomorrow um if bruce has everything here uh hand guards cnas yeah. you know the little stuff because we are here to support the people that support us and on a project like this we want to have all the all the bells and whistles on it yeah so needs to get studded too uh which i think i picked the lucky straw on that one yeah i think you did too <laughs> so that'll probably get started tomorrow started not finished but uh, other than that, I mean, we just need snow now. We need we need winter to show up. Yes, we do. We need winter to show up and winter we'll to show up on the snow and try out all the things that we want to try out and go over there. Yeah, go from there. And we have some suspension stuff. We have uh, spindle stuff, uh, rear suspension stuff. This one obviously has a long tail torsions, like we talked about. Uh, we have some high gear components that uh, are going to be going in uh, some of the other sleds and you know testing a lot of stuff to figure out what works the best yeah. for all different uh sizes shapes riding styles and so on so this is good though it's exciting big project is out of the way now yeah yeah for which sure. big, again like i said earlier in the video big thanks to rick because he's just the machine when he gets going he's just he's good oh, he's yeah, so he, good yeah he pulls that stuff out and puts it back in and does it all right and nice and neat mm -hmm. real quick yeah and everything's routed as it would be from the factory nothing's out of whack everything is zip tied back where it should be everything's clipped where it should be and uh i mean it goes to show on a whole motor transplant third pull boom fire yeah. done no issue yeah. not a coolant drop no fuel leak no every everything works so uh big shout out to rick but she's all wrapped up and ready for snow so that's the last piece of the puzzle that we need uh, excited about this one, excited about the assault, excited about the cross country, excited about your 650, believe it or not. I can't believe I'm even saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one, that's the one we're going to put the high gear stuff on. Yeah. Yeah. Put that, um, linkage kit that they mm -hmm. make on it. And so we are, we're yeah. looking forward to seeing it. And if we goes. have, and if I think if the season goes long enough and we have enough time on snow, it could even make its way into this one oh, with the long tail torsion. So, yeah. but we, we want to try one thing that we haven't done you know individually to see what works and what doesn't work or how things feel so we're just going to kind of progress through the the stages of it and and go from there but you got anything else nope, that's it so that's going to do it for this video this is the last part of this uh xe9r build so next time you'll see it hopefully we'll be on snow whenever that may be but uh that's going to do it for this video guys make sure to like make sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys <laughs>